There are many wetsuits available for swimming and triathlon, and most of them we've discussed here on GTN. But there's one we haven't really covered yet, and that is the sleeveless wetsuit. Until today. Yep, you may have seen people wearing them, you may have seen them for sale, they may have even been recommended to you before. But why? What's the difference? And can they really help your swimming? Hey James, I don't know about you, but I've never really seen anyone pull a sleeveless wetsuit off before. Yeah, nor have I. Still haven't. Oh. Where's your guns, mate? Well, let's start with the obvious points, the potential benefits of a sleeveless wetsuit. It has no arms, it has no sleeves, obviously. And with that means less resistance. I mean, I know modern day wetsuits are super flexible in the arms, but having material on the arms is always gonna be more restrictive than none at all. Flexibility is also one of the major reasons people quote for choosing a sleeveless wetsuit and also feel for the water because if you come from a swimming background, you might be used to that feel of the catch all the way through to the pull on your arms, feeling the resistance of the water, which you might lose with a sleeved suit. Yeah, now we're not here to necessarily sell the sleeveless wetsuit to you, so let's look at a few of the downsides to the sleeveless wetsuit before we move on to some positives again. And first, the big one, insulation. And this is the big one, especially for me now moving to the UK, <laughs> because it's definitely gonna be colder in a sleeveless wetsuit. The extra insulation you get in the upper body from a sleeved suit is gonna make a big difference. Unless you're somewhere where the water is a consistent, nice, borderline wetsuit temperature, you're gonna want the extra insulation at some point. Uh, and that's me, yeah. always. And as the temperature window is more narrow for a sleeveless wetsuit, that means that brands tend to have a more limited range for their sleeveless wetsuits. That means less options of neoprene thickness for potentially those people that have sinky hips and so on. And that therefore means that you don't have as much option out there for you. Speaking of buoyancy, I know most of the buoyancy of a wetsuit comes from the legs and the core, but you are gonna get some buoyancy advantage from the sleeves and the shoulders. And you take that away in a sleeveless suit and you're definitely sacrificing a little bit of buoyancy. Yeah, absolutely. And I gotta be honest, when I started jotting down the notes for this video and doing a bit of research on sleeveless wetsuits, I thought I was really going to struggle to find the advantages. But as we've shown, they're really awesome. And we've got more for you. Yeah, they're also cooler, which seems a bit contradictory to put on a wetsuit and then keep cooler, but sometimes you might be in slightly warmer water but need the buoyancy and you're doing a longer swim and you might overheat over distance and then you want the slightly cooler sleeveless suit. See, so when you said cooler, I thought you meant cooler, like, you know, oh, looking, looking cooler. cooler. Yeah, no, Mark, you clearly don't look no? cooler in that no. suit than me in this one. Well, okay. Well, we've got some more convincing pros as well to sleeveless wet. See, obviously, without the sleeves, they're easier to get on, and that means easier to take off, which is pretty important for triathlon. Obviously, whizzing through T1, one of the things that quite often gets caught is the arms, particularly if you have a watch, so speedy T1s. <laughs> yeah, it's also easier to find the right fit in a sleeveless suit, because let's face it, not everybody has the same proportion. Some people have big muscular shoulders and some people uh, don't. Uh, and you know, you might struggle to find a, a suit off the shelf that fits you perfectly on your legs, your core and your shoulders, whereas with a sleeveless suit, that's gonna be significantly easier. Yeah, now I will be honest, I have been quite grateful of the sleeves on a wetsuit before when I've had to swim through jellyfish and things like that, for instance. Um, also, nowadays, a lot of people are wearing sleeved aero tri suits. Obviously, without a sleeve on the wetsuit, that's less hydrodynamic because that that material is gonna absorb the water. Yeah, that's definitely a big thing, I think, especially lately. And with the advances in the technology in the sleeved suits, they so thin these days. I think actually one of the big hangups and the reason people still swim in those is maybe their first wetsuit they tried on, a sleeved suit, was not well fitted or not well made and they didn't enjoy it. They got really sore shoulders and burning arms. So they went for the sleeveless and they've just stuck with that forever more. Yeah. Uh, maybe they should be trying one of the newer ones. Yeah, or maybe they've come from a swimming background and they're used to having really free shoulders. Or 
they're simply not wearing a well-fitted wetsuit or putting on correctly. I mean, I will literally spend five to 10 minutes, probably longer than I should do, putting my wetsuit on and really getting as much material up into my shoulders and freeing those shoulders up so they're nice and flexible. And if you're not doing that, yes, you're gonna get burning shoulders and think you need sleeveless wetsuits. Yeah, I think there's a very small niche place still for sleeveless wetsuits, but if you haven't tried one of the newer sleeved suits, maybe you should try that before you commit your money to a sleeveless suit. Sleeveless suits have their place, mm -hmm. and we're not gonna say they should go away entirely, but these days, a sleeved suit is far more versatile. Wow, especially when you look as good as I do in this. Pretty cool, huh? Eh? No? Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If so, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Can we put something over those guns now, Mark? Please. So pale. Yeah, your, your, your tan marks are terrible. <laughs>